Hello and welcome to my channel, Connect with Gia. I am your host, Gia. If you are new here, I always like to give a friendly reminder that everything I share today, it is from a spiritual perspective. Um, it's definitely not something coming from the human mind, something that will be easy to digest, simple to understand, but you may need some extra time to really absorb and sit with the information. So please be gentle with yourself. And also, if you do not agree with any information, you can absolutely release it. You don't have to accept it. You have your free will. You can always apply it. So if it resonates, take it, take it. And if it does not resonate, just move on. Okay, so we've got the formalities out of the way. Um, once again, welcome. I'm very grateful to have your presence back on my channel. Um, today is going to be more of a relaxed, chill conversation, more of a friendly reminder and a more a, I want to say it's something personal that I'm going to share today. It's definitely personal. In the beginning of my journey, when I was starting off, I was um, in my teen years, I was about 18, 19 years old. And up to then, I really, really struggled with um, jealousy and comparison. I constantly compared myself. And if I felt like, oh, you know, someone had more than me, or they looked happier, and they had the things I desired. I don't like to admit this, but I was a bit jealous, I would be like, how did they get it? And why do they get it? And why can't I get it? Why is it easy for them? Why is it hard for me? Blah, blah, blah. I would go down that entire rabbit hole with myself. And of course, I would repel all good things because I was so caught up in the lack mentality that I could not hold space because I thought I was not worthy enough to receive. And I was in this space, I think, my entire life until my awakening. And that was a lot of years, um, you know, from preteen to like high school up into college. That's kind of the programming I was running on. And it's if, oh my goodness, I can and I do not even recognize that old version of myself. Like I cannot even comprehend her because she seems so old and far away now because I do not run on that programming no longer. So I can't even recognize this past version of myself. Like, who is this? But anyways, I will put that heavy, dense energy aside. We'll clear the air. Oh, my goodness. I just remembered her and I cringed. <laughs> I made myself cringe. Anyways, um, this is how I overcame it. And of course, it was a lot of shadow work. It was not easy. I relapsed many times, got back on the programming many times, and it was a year's process. It was years of energy healing, shadow work, self-talk, um, nervous system healing, all of it. And one day meditation, it just clicked. All the work I've been putting into removing this mindset and being centered and grounded in unconditional love and being grounded in my own power versus being always in the comparison energy, always constantly comparing. This is what one of my primary guides said to me. And I will always, always carry this in the back of my head. Because every time that old programming resurfaced, I remembered exactly what my primary guide told me. And about instant comfort and ease. And I was able to remove this imprinting with a lot of grace, a lot of grace. This is what she said to me in my conversation with her because I brought it up. I said, I don't like it when I put so much more effort in. It takes way longer for me to achieve something versus, you know, this individual I know. What's the difference between me and this person? Why does this person get to have it and I don't? I know it sounds brutal. It sounds so cruel. Who is this nasty person speaking? But believe me, it was me. <laughs> it was me. Just on a different programming, but it was me. And this is what she said to me. She goes, anytime you feel like this, I want you to think about this. 
Exactly. It's exactly what she said to me, word for word. You found me because you are at the same frequency as me. This is why the universe has connected us. We can only relate with people that are at the same frequency because we have a similar lens that we see the world through. Example, if you don't like your relationships, job, or living space, what does that say about your frequency? What does it say about the frequency you hold for these areas in your life? What frequency are you tuned into? How can you raise your vibration and your frequency to level up? She said, if you're in a room with an individual that has what you're looking for and has what you desire, you're already there, Gia. You're already there. The fact that you're able to stand in the same room as this individual means you're at their level. You and her or you and him or them, they are at the same level, frequency and energetically. And then she basically gave me these questions to dive deeper. What frequency are you holding? How are you showing up in your career, in your finances, in your love lives? How are you showing up as a daughter? How are you showing up as a neighbor? How are you showing up? What frequency are you bringing in? Because she said, you're there. The fact that you're sharing the same space and air as this individual that you're jealous of, you're only there because you and her have the same frequency. So she said, you do hold space. But it, your desires bounce off of you. They bounce off of you. You can't anchor them or hold on to them. Because you're tuned into lack. And unworthiness. She told me to level up my vibration. To bring up my frequency. Raise my vibration. With love and care. And compassion for myself. I can't believe I made this public now, <laughs> but this is a very dark side of me in the past. And this is exactly how I overcame it. And I always remember if I am sharing space with someone. And of course, in no means and no matter, I say you should play small. And if you are uncomfortable, you should leave that space. You can always use your free will to decide yes or no. You can always do that. You can always pick, you know, pick and choose what you like. But I always remember. If I start to feel a little judgy, jealous, or I compare, I go, no, you know what? We're all on the same frequency. This is why we're all here. We're all on the same frequency. This is why we're here. I tune back into my heart. I get centered and grounded. And I bless the person that in the past I would feel jealous of. I would just start sending them love and light and blessings. I would increase that portal of frequency and dive in and welcome the frequencies into my life. And this has been life changing. I know it sounds like, oh, it's too simple. Like, okay, sure. Like, you know, whatever. But it works. You slowly start, stop comparing yourself and start living in alignment and you start attracting miracles. Things start showing up for you because you're so attuned into the love frequency, gratitude frequency, joy on the higher levels of vibration. So things are able to find you and drop into your world with ease and grace. Raise your vibration. Anytime you feel a low frequency emotion come through, raise your vibration. Remember who you are. Remember we're all one. We came on planet Earth. Believe it or not, for the same purpose. It's to learn. Learn. Remember who we are. And that is all. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. Please like, comment, and share and let me know. And of course, you can always connect further with me through my website and my social media pages, which are linked in the description below. 
Have a blessed day.